Hey guys, good morning, happy Sunday. I'd like to read something to you, if I may. An open letter to the NFL players. You graduated high school in 2011. Your teenage years was a struggle. You grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. Your mother was the leader of the family and worked timelessly to keep a roof over your head and food on your plate. Academics was a struggle for you and your grades were mediocre at best. The only thing that made you stand out is your weight, 225 pounds and could run 40 yards in 4.2 seconds while carrying a football. Your best friend was just like you, except he didn't play football. Instead of going to football practice after school, he went to work at McDonald's for minimum wage. You were recruited by all the big colleges and spent every weekend of your senior year making visits to university where coaches and boosters try to convince you their school was best. They laid out the red carpet for you. Your best friend worked double shifts at Mickey D's. College was not an option for him. On the day you signed with Big State University, your best friend signed paperwork with his army recruiter. You went to summer workouts. He went to basic training. You spent the next four years living in the athletic dorm, eating at the training table. You spent your Saturdays on the football field, cheered on by adoring fans. Tutors attended your every academic need. You attended class when you felt like it. Sure, you worked out, you lifted weights, ran sprints, studied plays, and soon became one of the top football players in the country. Your best friend was assigned to the 101st Airborne Division while you were in college. He deployed to Iraq once and Afghanistan twice. He became a sergeant and led a squad of 19-year-old soldiers who grew up just like he did. He shed his blood in Afghanistan and watched young Americans give their lives limb and innocence for the USA. You went to NFL, combined and scored off the charts. You hired an agent and waited for draft day. You were drafted in the first round and your agent immediately went to work, ensuring that you received the most money possible. You signed for $16 million, although you have never played a single down of professional football. Your best friend re-enlisted in the Army for four more years as a combat tested sergeant. He will be paid $32,000 per year. You will drive a Ferrari on the streets of South Beach. He will ride in the back of a Black Hawk helicopter with 10 other combat soldiers loaded soldiers. You will sleep at the Ritz. He will dig a hole in the ground and try to sleep. You will make it rain in the club. He will pray for rain as the temperature reaches 120 degrees. On Sunday, you will run into a stadium as tens of thousands of fans cheer and yell your name. For your best friend, there is little difference between Sunday and any other day of the week. There are no adoring fans. There are only people trying to kill him and his soldiers. Every now and then, he and his soldiers leave the front lines and go to the rear to rest. He might be lucky enough to catch an NFL game on the TV. When the national anthem plays and you take a knee, he will jump to his feet and salute the television. While you protest the unfairness of life in the United States, he will give thanks to God that he has the honor of defending his great country. To the players of the NFL, we are the people who buy your tickets, watch you on TV, and wear your jersey. We anxiously wait for Sundays so we can cheer for you and marvel at your athleticism. Although we love to watch you play, we care little about your opinions until you offend us. You have the absolute right to express yourselves, but we have the absolute right to boycott you. We have tolerated your drug use and DUIs, your domestic violence, and your vulgar displays of wealth. We, you, we should be ashamed for putting our admiration of your physical skills before what is morally right. But now you have gone too far. You have insulted our flag, our country, our soldiers, and police officers, and our veterans. You are living in the American dream, yet you disparage 
disparage our con our great country. I am done with NFL football and encourage all like-minded Americans to boy boycott the NFL. National boycott of the NFL is Sunday, November 12th, Veteran Days weekend. Boycott all football telegasts, all fans, all ticket holders. Stay away from attending any game. Let them play to en empty stadiums. Pass this post along to all your friends and family. Honor our military, some of whom came home with the American flag draped over their coffin. This is why, if you notice, the song I'm playing today is Never on a Sunday. Yep, never on a Sunday, because that's exactly what's going to happen now. We will never watch your games again on a Sunday. So please, guys, share this for me. Get the word out. And remember, boycott the NFL until they decide to stand up for what's right, become patriots. And again, I said it, NFL, if they don't, get some new players. But you know what, guys? We got to stand to never on a Sunday. Never on a Sunday, guys, will we watch NFL. Not here.